me as a uh, killer? You know, I thought I saw a director sneaking around. If I had to bet, I'd say he did it. Ah, he did, 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 he did I'm sure. Although he appears with a pot of the pies, it's a little hard to And 
I'm afraid my are all over them once again. That's all right, Miss Harris. You've already proven yourself to be forthcoming and trustworthy. And just so very nice. <laughs> Dear Sydney, end the show, or it's the end of you. Uh, oh my god, Sid Bernstein died for nothing. He told me he was going to close the show. When did he tell you that? The night in his office before he got hoisted. He said someone had just changed the minute about Robin Hood and he was going to close the show. He wanted to save my money for the next big Boston production, and then he walked upstairs to watch George's next big number. He gave me back the last check I ever wrote him. You can give that check back to me. I am not closing this show. Let's go put this in a safe place. Well, very safe in my pockets. <laughs> What's the matter, Frank? Well, it's been troubling me since yesterday. I mean, why is it that Bobby? What? Well, I mean, of all people, you ought to be... Spit it out, Lieutenant. You ought to be in the board of the square dance number. <laughs> I uh, beg your pardon? Well, you would stop the show! And after all, wouldn't Rob Hood go to a big picnic disguised as Ellen O'Dell? It makes sense. And you already loved Bobby. Bobby, could you improvise a quick turn in time for tonight? Uh, I mean, I, I guess I can try, but I don't know if I can make the costume change in time for the next scene. Uh... Oh, for gosh sakes, Bobby! It's losing a bandana and putting on the mask. Would it kill you to try? Uh, we'll work on it now, Johnny. The Ford Henderson Square Dance number. The Ford Henderson Square Dance number! Now we're getting somewhere. And, Aaron, for the love of Mike, we've got to have the rewrite in the same boat. I already did it. Without me? We rehearsed it last night while you were getting fitted. To be honest, I think it turned out quite well. Well, can I hear it? Sure. I changed it to Rob Hood and his men heading up the mighty Colorado. You know, a real He-Man approach. Randy Moore, help me out here. <laughs> Who 
piddles away a lot of her hard-earned bucks like Bambi. But facing the fact your color and terror sucks. Bambi. Don't break so much.
The company's ready to run the square dance. Oh, joy beyond my wildest dreams. May I stay? Colin, how much longer do we have before we're re-reviewed by... Uh, Daryl Grady of the Boston Globe. Grady? Well, you're not what I expected. Although I've never seen a picture of you. Complete anonymity is a critic's best tool. Huh, I suppose I shouldn't bite the hand that slaps me. Well, it isn't it unethical for you to review a rehearsal? You forget that I report on theater for the club as well as review it. Your show is news, and I'm setting aside my customary professional business to interview members of your cast in the green room. With your permission, Mrs. Bernstein. It's free publicity, Carmen. Carson, he would have died to get this much publicity, and he did! <laughs> All right, company, the Fort Henderson Square Dance number with Bambi rehearsing a new scene with Bobby. Um, this I have got to see. Keep all your fingers crossed. Yes, let us all go all the way back to the Yellow Brick Road in reverse, all the way to Kansas land. <laughs> Thank you. So if we go back to the starting point, 
if the bullet came from out there, grazed Bobby, then it was most likely intended for you, Nikki. Were you standing there when Bobby was shot? No, I'm not sure. Is that important? Well, if you were standing here, then you couldn't have very well shot it yourself, and I could rule you out as the killer. You hadn't already ruled me out, with him. <laughs> Wait, Bobby, you're holding that. You're holding your right arm. Yeah. It's bleeding. But that's impossible. If the shot came from out from the audience and you were living with, with your left side toward them, then there's no way you could raise your right arm. Wait, guys. Wasn't the skull and crossbones facing the other way? Yes. I put it on the wrong way. It's exactly the opposite. The ball was fired from behind the upside guard tower. Grace Bob is in his sleep on its way to you. Me? And those were the bullet went. <laughs> but that means that the shot was fired from one By of the... By someone on the stage or behind that scenery. You people who were off stage, were you with anyone? Very nice. Well, the only person who couldn't have fired the shot was Carmen. Because she was downstage and, hey, by the way, don't you think Bob's place dance much further downstage? I was planning to have that exact same thought. Well, with that out of my system, I guess we'll have to search every one of the cast for a gun. She did it! 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 That lady is her dance Stop! Mickey, what are you doing with that gun? Well, I got the gun! Little black book of black men. 
Now, as I said, each page has the name of a company member and a notation of why they will be blackmailed. With three noteworthy exceptions. You, you, and you. Now, going by this book, Bernstein had nothing on you three, but going by the financial records of the show, you're all getting the same raw deal as the rest of the cast. So why are you toiling for pennies when you could be doing so much better elsewhere? No one has anything to say? Well, can you blame us? If I recall, one of those death threats said...